lebih sering dipakai dalam percakapan daripada continue. We must keep on walking. You keep walking. I'll wait here. It'll start raining soon. Oh, stop talking about the weather. Coba dengarkan lagi kata-kata kerja tadi. Start. Keep. Keep on. Continue. Stop. It'll start raining again. I'll keep walking. I'll keep on waiting for a bus. You can continue walking. It stopped raining. Stop talking about the weather. Baiklah, saudara pendengar. Sebuah ungkapan lagi yang artinya sama dengan continue atau keep on ialah go on. Go on. I'll go on working till I finish. He'll go on eating till he's sick. They'll go on playing till the sun goes down. Contoh terakhir tadi artinya mereka akan terus bermain sampai matahari turun. They'll go on playing till the sun goes down. Saudara pendengar, sekarang mari kita berlatih memakai kata-kata tadi yang artinya berhenti, mulai dan terus. Coba ulangi apa yang dikatakan oleh Lucia dan Chris. Siap? It will start raining soon. I'll keep walking. Has it stopped raining yet? Let's continue walking. Stop talking about the weather. They'll go on working till they finish. Saudara pendengar, sekarang mari kita melatih pemakaian lain dari bentuk ing yang cukup umum. Coba dengarkan. After arriving at the beach, we'll have a swim. After having a swim, we'll lie on the sand. After lying on the sand, we'll go for a walk. Kalimat After arriving at the beach, we'll have a swim. Dapat dipakai untuk mengganti kalimat After we arrive at the beach, we'll have a swim. Supaya kita tidak usah mengulangi kata we. Coba ucapkan contoh tadi bagian demi bagian sesudah Chris. After arriving at the beach, we'll have a swim. Sekarang, coba ulangi kalimat seluruhnya. After arriving at the beach, we'll have a swim. Bagus. Coba ucapkan beberapa contoh lagi sesudah Lucia. After having a swim, I'll lie on the sand. After lying on the sand, I'll go for a walk. After going for a walk, I'll have some lunch. Baiklah. Kata before. Juga sama pemakaiannya dengan after. Coba dengarkan. Before going, we'll speak to Iwan. Before speaking to Iwan, we'll see Jane. Before seeing Jane, we'll have lunch. Before using the car, we'll buy some petrol. Before leaving, we'll make some sandwiches. Contoh terakhir tadi juga dapat diganti dengan Before we leave, we'll make some sandwiches. Before leaving, we'll make some sandwiches. Sekarang, mari kita berlatih mengubah kalimat seperti Before we go, we'll speak to Iwan. Menjadi Before going, we'll speak to Iwan. Coba saudara ubah kalimat berikut seperti tadi. Before we leave, 
We'll make some sandwiches. Sekarang, coba ucapkan kalimat yang betul sesudah Chris. Before leaving, we'll make some sandwiches. Bagus. Nah, coba saudara ubah kalimat-kalimat berikut seperti tadi. Dan ulangilah kalimat yang betul sesudah Chris. Siap? Before we leave, we'll buy some milk. Before leaving, we'll buy some milk. Before we leave, we'll ring Jane. Before leaving, we'll ring Jane. Before we ring Jane, we'll talk to E1. Before ringing Jane, we'll talk to E1. Before we go, we'll make some sandwiches. Before going, we'll make some sandwiches. Saudara pendengar, sekarang mari kita pelajari pemakaian bentuk ing di belakang kata by. Coba dengarkan. By working hard, you'll make progress. By leaving early, you'll catch the bus. Artinya, dengan berangkat lebih awal, saudara tidak akan ketinggalan bis. By leaving early, you'll catch the bus. By catching the bus, you'll save time. By using an umbrella, you won't get wet. By wearing a raincoat, you'll stay dry. Kalimat terakhir adalah cara yang lebih sederhana untuk mengatakan If you wear a raincoat, you'll stay dry. Coba dengarkan sepasang kalimat lagi seperti tadi. If you catch the bus, you'll save time. By catching the bus, you'll save time. Sekarang, mari kita berlatih mengubah kalimat dengan if menjadi kalimat dengan 